Hi everybody, it's Scott here, and in this one we're going to do something quite um, quite interesting. Every time we pick up the rapid fire, um, we just get our rapid fire, we shoot our gun really quickly. Um, but what I'd like to do is, um, as soon as we pick it up, I would like to increase the pitch of the music to kind of energize the, the game flow, to kind of um, make the kind of change the pacing of the game, make things quicker, so to speak. So what we're going to do is, whenever we pick this up, we're going to um, change the pitch of our uh, our game music. So what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to unmute my music and play it, just so that you can hear it, so you've heard it. And what we're going to do is, we're going to jump right into U script. And what we're going to do is, we're going to go to our player script. And we know that we've already set the majority of this up, up here. So whenever our rapid fire is off, um, our fire rate is standard, but if it's increased, well then it goes up or the fire rate goes down so we can fire quicker and then it counts down the timer. But what we're going to do is, as well as setting the floats, we're also going to change the pitch. And this is actually very simple to do. All we need to do is go to the reflected properties. So go to properties and we're going to go to the Unity Engine dot audio source. And we're going to find the, the pitch. Um, function and what we're going to be able to do is we're going to be able to modify the the pitch now what we need to do is just enable instance because we want to change the the pitch for our main camera because that's where our, our music is applied to so we're going to go to main camera um, and drag that into the instance game object so now we can alter the pitch of our main camera audio source now, if we just inspect the, the, the value here, it's actually a float. So all we need to do is simply set float. So we're going to bring in a set float, float, float function. And that's going to be our target. And inside this guy, we don't do it in here. We do it in here. So if it's true, so if rapid fire is on, we want to set our float to about 1.2. And that will increase our pitch from 1 to 1.2 because it defaults to 1. So what we do is we just delete that wire and we link it up like so. And then we're just going to copy this and paste it and throw it down a bit. Delete this wire and link that up. So whenever rapid fire is disabled we want to have our pitch set to 1. So that means whenever we hit file and save compile and in this case I've placed a little uh, rapid fire pickup right in front of me I just dragged in my prefab I set the Y to 0 point minus 0 0.25 So you'll notice that whenever we picked up the, the rapid fire pickup, the, the music pitch went up and it kind of energized the, the gameplay, the game flow a wee bit. And then whenever the rapid fire turned off, the music returned to its default pitch. So with that, um, let's try one more thing. Every time we fire the, the gun, let me just turn off the music. <clears throat> Every time we fire the music, um, or the, the gun, it just plays the exact same sound over and over again. And it's quite a, a very monotone, um, very boring kind of audio effect. But what we can do is every time it fires and plays that sound, we can change the pitch every single time. So let's um, have a crack at doing that. So let's go into our U script. And we're going to go into our player script. And we're going to go down to where we play this sound. So currently it's playing the sound on the player. So it's actually creating itself an audio source each time. So what we need to do is we need to do the exact same thing. We're just going to uh, grab this float variable, find the play sound, and we're just going to drag these guys across a bit. I'm going to drag these across a bit, like so. I'm just going to paste. Now in this case we need to change our instance. We need to change it from main camera to our player. So we're going to drag our player in or you could use the owner object. 
we want to then set a random uh, float. So we want to set a random float, this being the target of course, between a minimum and maximum of 0 0.8 and 1.2, which would be good. So as soon as it's finished spawning, we're going to set a random float and then out to the play. And so what should happen is every time we fire, it's going to set, um, let me think here, this may not work. Uh, let me just try this, file save, because there's no audio source just yet. Uh, it may work, we'll give it a go. I'm just having a think about it now. Let's pause here and check the, the pitch. It's not changing. The reason being is that I think we actually need to put this after the, the play. So we'll put the play in first, delete that out, put in our random float and put that into the in position. Uh, as soon as the finish, or as soon as the sound goes out, it will set the audio source uh, pitch to a value, and then I think we're good. Put that into the delay, and let's give that a try. So there we go. If you actually draw your eye over to the pitch, it is changing. Um, there's not a huge change going on, so we'll change this between 1 and 2, and this will be a really extreme um, pitch change. But you get the idea that how it works. The reason why we need to put the float after the play sound is because there's no actual audio source on this. The audio source is only created after the play sound has been added. So before there was no audio source, however after there is an audio source. So there we go, we have a random pitch going on. And that concludes that part, guys. Um, so again, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.